Rahul, what we can do, and we can ask our producers to do this, call, call to elections very clearly. BJP is going to form the next government in Madhya Pradesh. Bhopal is going the BJP way in a massive, potentially two-thirds victory. The India Today Axis, my India polls, spot on in Madhya Pradesh. All the criticism, all the anger that we had to face in the last 48 hours, getting messages at 5 a.m. in the morning saying, your poll is wrong, I'm sorry. The poll is spot on. Well done, Pradeep Gupta in Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, we are calling Shivraj Singh Chauhan led BJP is set to form the government in Madhya Pradesh. We are also calling Telangana that Telangana, barring a last minute surprise, the Congress is set to form the government in Hyderabad, displacing 10 years of TRS. No, I what think, surprise can there be? With 51 I think, well, leads. 70, I'm just saying 60 is the halfway mark. So I'm not saying that they are. This is, yes. It's bad news for BRS. It's also bad news for the AIMIM. It's leading only in four That's seats. That's right. Very down interesting. Down three. And I'm told Karwan, Nampali and Yakutpura, these are the three constituencies where it is trailing right now. Huge. That's huge. So uh, I can show for, that. Uh, for Asaduddin OAC, yes. this is a huge setback. Yeah. He Two takes this area this as his fortress. And I, aligning with the BRS, it would suggest, Sudhir, that the minorities have consolidated behind, behind the Congress. Congress. You know, the narrative of the Congress that the um, MIM has some kind of a deal with the BJP seems to have found some traction Absolutely. in his spots. But of Good course, one. these are small leads right now for the Congress. But yes, the fact that he's trailing, because Yakutpura kind of thing, it had only 39% polling. Most of the old city um, constituencies have had less than 45% polling in a state which has seen 71% polling. So in that sense, the old city... The Congress seems to have breached it if these uh, uh, early leads hold. Excellent point, Sudhir. So AIMIM is currently leading only on three seats. Uh, yeah. Down from seven for the last time. The Congress is on 70, up 51 from the last time. If I look at how the minority-dominated seats of Telangana have voted, there are 17 seats where the Muslim population is more than 21, 20%. The BRS is half of where they were last time. Others are at three. Uh, they were at seven last time. Congress is at five. It's up four. So there has been a move of the minority vote from the BRS AIMM Tango to the Congress in Telangana. And one of the shifts that took place in Telangana was when by early part of this year, I would say mid part of the year, rumors were spread or speculation that the BRS had some deal with the BJP. When K. Kavita, who was once accused in the Delhi liquor scam, suddenly... Uh, it appears that the agencies are going soft on it. The Congress sent coins and digital messages saying BRS and BJP, bye-bye. Even the, even the PM said that in one of his campaign speeches. In fact, the PM went to the extent of saying BRS, K. Chandrasekhar Rao wanted to join the NDA. Yes. All of that went against the NDA and Sudhir makes the a other... great point. It resulted in a minority consolidation. Muslims, OBCs and Dalits have come together to back the Congress there. And one of the reasons why they are doing so well in the North, Kaleshwaram Irrigation Project, the Congress went to town talking about the Kaleshwaram ATM, that it has been the cash cow for the uh, BRS. That seems to have found some traction if these results are... Nagarjun Dwarkanath is now live with us right outside Revan Reddy's residence. Nagarjun, uh, power, police and politicians seem to sense that that's the man who will be the next chief minister. Well, that's true. In fact, the followers at Raven Reddy's house also are ch chanting the slogans that CM, CM, Raven Tanna, CM. That's the slogans that we are hearing now. And all the recipes to celebrate are already here. The ingredients to celebrate uh, uh, the win. We can show you the crackers, the flowers, and the dole is already here. He t they started just celebrating now, but a message came from inside saying, wait for one more hour. Don't start celebrating right away. And you can see the followers already on the other end, uh, in front of Raven Reddy's house, that uh, people are chanting slogans of him becoming the next chief minister of Telangana. But what is good news for him is he's leading in both the seats. He's a Jain slayer this point of time because he took on the chief minister in Kama Reddy head on. And he knew that it's a tough battle because it was not his typical conventional seat. But he did go there uh, after Kodangal and contested there. Even on the polling day, he finished his voting in Kodangal and went back to Kama Reddy to make sure that he goes around the booths talking to people and looking at all the preparations being the necessarily done there and meet the Karyakartas as well. So uh, all credit to him is what the Congress is saying. And also the message that I'm picking up is DK Shukumar, who is in a private hotel, in Hyderabad is closely monitoring the issue and the numbers now. He's saying that 65 below, we take a flight to 
uh, Bengaluru, 65 and above, all the MLAs come to Taj Krishna for celebrations with sweets and also some good food in the night. Yes, so, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, the Chief Minister, is trailing in Kamaredi at this moment. He's leading in Gajwel, but in Kamaredi at this moment, Revant Reddy is leading. Uh, that would be a very big win. I want to go across to Akshita Nandgopal. She's at the Congress headquarters in Hyderabad. Akshita, I see the dole is out. The Congress supporters out to celebrate. There's a massive political tsunami in Kalangana. The Congress is romping home in style. Rahul, I can't hear a word of what you're saying because the music is non-stop here. But what you see on your screens is America Bishakam. First of Sonia Gandhi, then of Rahul and Revant Reddy. Perhaps indicative of really who's going to be in charge here of Telangana. With the numbers now coming in, safe to say that the Congress is not prematurely celebrating anymore. They're going ahead and celebrating the numbers that they're receiving. I just spoke to the war room in charge who says that it's going to be 75 plus for the Congress. That, of course, we'll have to wait and see. But dancing, breaking out here, people all in a celebratory mood, many of whom have been part of these campaigns as well. So for them, this moment is also a huge deal. Let me talk to some of them and also get in our work. I'm over away from this side because I don't know how much you can hear. I most definitely can't hear you back in the studio. But you can see that all of them are up media and this is just the beginning. We're being told that Congress leaders are going to be gathering here at the Congress headquarters uh, at the Gandhi Bhavan in Hyderabad to go ahead and celebrate together. All the winning candidates will be brought here tomorrow and there's going to be a mega celebration. So what you're seeing here is just a trailer of what to expect in the next 24 hours, Rahul and Rajdeep. Thanks, Akshita, for that. Meanwhile, there's been a big, big, big twist in the tail in Chhattisgarh. In Chhattisgarh, the BJP now seems to be stabilizing in a lead. Remember, if the BJP is able to win Chhattisgarh, it would be a clean sweep. What a win it would be for the BJP in the Hindi heartland. The BJP at this moment leading on 49 seats in Chhattisgarh. Their leads, as you can see, are coming from across the state. They're not concentrated in any one pocket. The Congress is down to 39. That's a loss of 29 seats from the last time. Chhattisgarh is and the big story at this moment because Madhya Pradesh is a sweep for the BJP. In Rajasthan, they've been in the lead for a long time. It is Chhattisgarh which seemed to be slipping out of the Saffron Party's hand. Now the BJP is dancing in Chhattisgarh as well. At this moment, 49 leads, Rajdeep, for the BJP in Chhattisgarh. And, and the turnaround is taking place in the tribal belt. Remember last time, 29 seats, the BJP won, uh, the Congress won 25. Now in Bastar alone, the BJP leading in 8, the Congress in just 3, the CPI in 1. And the smaller party, the Amar party, is damaging the Congress. The anti you know, the, the sense is that the Congress in the tribal belts is where they are taking the hit this time. And once you take a hit in the tribal belt, that's where that pivoted the Congress into victory last time. Now you're finding the Congress struggling, which is why even the likes of T.S. Singh Deo are trailing despite having 50% of the vote. I won't be surprised now if the BJP wins Chhattisgarh. It is 3-1 possibly. And that would be a big victory Huge. because they were never really in the race in Telangana. So if your BJP is able to win all the three states... Mm. In the Hindi Huge. heartland, Just a repeat for of 2 0, you know, what could have happened? Reverse of 2018. Reverse of 2018. 2018. But the, 2013, interest, basically. The, the interesting thing could be that this could make 2 0, 2 4 that much simple and clear. There's been unpredictability around the verdict today. But if this is the way it shapes up, 2 0, 2 4 becomes that much more settled from a BJP point of view. It also On the affects intra India alliance. That dynamics. India alliance is in trouble. No, the, in, in, the dynamics within the alliance also change. The Congress will be chastened. The other allies will say, we told you, you can't beat the BJP in a head-on-head -head fight, so please back off and give us some space. But as per what? sources, already an India alliance meeting has been called on the 6th. No, uh, no, what's Khargay the point of this alliance? This morning. 